women cheat more than men though and a woman is sleeping around with maybe guys that are in and out of prison or like treating her badly hitting and stuff when she just meets a guy who's still a bit shit but he's better than that she thinks he's husband material i don't actually hate andrew tate i used to hate his followers a lot the reality is you've taught her that she can disrespect you in front of your face as long as she powders it as a pleasure and you are dumb enough to think that that woman who's going to enjoy this sexual pleasure in front of you disrespect your boundaries in front of you is not going to do it behind your back you're stupid. Do you think if you're in a relationship, you can let your girlfriend or boyfriend come to Dubai? Absolutely not. I won't even let them go to the toilets without me here. What's going on, guys? And welcome back to the Blue Tick Show. Opposite me today, I've got Sadia Psychology. Hi. You've probably all seen her all over TikTok giving her little bits about men and women. Welcome to the show. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Thank you for having me. No, thank you for coming. Uh, you know, know. We've tried about four times. So I'm so sorry. Yeah, we, so, got so, so we got there in the end. That's my fault. So, Sadia, I've seen you on TikTok. Yes. You're, you're Are you sick of me yet, by the no, way? Never, I feel like society never, is going to end up cancelling me. <laughs> <laughs> you got to care to be cancelled. I don't yeah. think you care. <laughs> no, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. So, everyone, like, you have a different opinion on every situation, basically. Yeah, I do, apparently. S- apparently, yeah, yeah, apparently. So, are you, like, anti... I, forget about all of that. Yeah. Tell me a bit about yourself. Throw it back to you. I'll like, tell you why it's unique. What made you become uh, all of this? Yeah, i tell you why people tell me. I don't know what, uh, what, if it's true or not, but people do tell me your perspective is sem- uh, somewhat unique. And I'll tell you why it's unique, because I have the psychology background, but I am a modern woman. I understand modern dating. I understand modern society. I understand modern women. I understand modern men. But combine that with academic experience. Now, most psychologists who give advice online are like 50, 60 years old, and they're kind of a little bit out of touch with what's going on the only thing I have in my favor is the fact that I'm in touch with what's going on I have the academic experience and I think because I'm Muslim as well I think that gives a little bit of a unique spin on it and because of that all of that combination which I thought would really fall flat on social media because I thought that Muslim element would not reach or would not uh, kind of resonate with this uh, with the audience but I think it, uh, it it does because it hits into our core human values anyway so I think that's what created that unique perspective so what do you think of the modern day society society in 2023 um it's very toxic i think it's all shit yeah it's nonsense I think all women cheat and all men cheat women cheat more than men though and this is a difference that happens in modern society men are so delusional about women they start to think no no she would never no 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 that's not right that's they're so delusional about women the other day i spoke to a friend of mine he was speaking to me regarding a girl and i said bro have you ever cheated and he goes yeah <laughs> i said i know because he said to me i don't think I don't think she can cheat. I talk to her all the time on the phone, blah, 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 blah. I said, have you cheated? Mm-hmm. You found a way to do it, yeah? You have, yeah? <laughs> She's yeah. better. She's way better. Any man that thinks a woman don't cheat She's is way stupid. B- and they'll use the tiniest kind of inklings that she might be faced. They're like, oh, no, no, no she FaceTime me before bed. There's girls out there FaceTiming and then running out. There's yeah. girls out there that are texting you whilst good night whilst in somebody else's room. 100%. And so if you know that about women, does that affect your, tr- your relationships? Me, I don't trust no one. So how do you get, how do you be with someone? I guess you just got to accept. No, me, different. I don't think I've ever been cheated on personally <laughs> because I think women know that if they're getting involved with me, there's consequences <laughs> if you cheat on me. But do they think that you're going to cheat? I believe every single woman who gets involved with me yeah. deep down inside does know that I'm not going to be 100% faithful. But then that woman deep down in knows to Is keep her options open. 100%, I agree. Yeah. But women in our day and age don't get with men because of love anymore. Yeah, I know. They used to, mm. like back when my mom and dad, like them many years ago, but nowadays there's money involved, mm. there's status involved, it's how many followers have you got on Instagram. Yeah. It's all to do with social but media. Is that everybody or is that just a unique subset of society? Is that just a good looking or is that, that I don't know if that's everybody or is that I just a good looking? I think there is still a small minority of women and males who are good. Yeah. But I think everyone can be easily influenced i think the good just don't find each other or even want each other i think all the good ones they always say oh, i can't find anyone but they're not looking at other good ones good men and women so question then since mm-hmm. you threw that on me your uh what's the word psychologist you, yeah you know all of this area you're trained in it yeah mm-hmm. so what's your love life like <laughs> This is what everyone kind of always wants to know, but I would because honestly... Because you must have a perfect relationship then. Why would, like, why would you assume because that? Because you're trained in it. So you, it's like a doctor. Doctors must not get ill because they can self-take like, medicine. Have right? you ever met a doctor that's never got ill? 
Well, I haven't met a doctor yet. Have you ever met a surgeon that's really? never had? <laughs> have you ever come across a, a, a PT that hasn't had a cheat day? No, but they can self they can. deal with the situation. Here's so your the relationship must be better than most. No, not at all. Do you want a relationship? Like I am in one, oh, but I, okay. yeah, but I, I wouldn't say it's better than most. I would just say I fight like everybody else. I lose my temper like everybody else. I'm anxious and jealous like every other woman. It's just that the only difference is I might understand where it's coming from. And I understand it's not coming from him. I understand that maybe it's my own kind of issues and my own kind of traumas and stuff like that. But the experience is exactly the same. And I think one of the reasons why my content resonates is because I am batshit crazy myself. In a <laughs> so, because I am that girl. I think you've got to be a bit crazy, especially in 2023. You Bitch. have to be crazy. <laughs> you have to be crazy to survive. So the thing is, like, even my partner will sometimes look at my videos and be like, "Oh, this girl seems lovely. I've never. I'd love I'm to meet her. <laughs> I'd love to get to know her because, um, of course, I am like anybody else. And I wouldn't be having this insight and this understanding if I didn't experience it so much myself. So I experience all of these emotions. I know exactly what it's like when you're just checking on your partner for no Had reason. Have you had the toxic relationships and the shit and all of that in your life yeah definitely definitely but it's i've been the one that's a bit of a nightmare <laughs> so you just, it's you me just accept it. I, it's i'm me. toxic i'm what <laughs> it is what it is because the thing is i know too much here's the thing the average girl you can tell her a few things and she'll understand and she might believe you somebody like me is like well sorry no your childhood doesn't suggest that you're going to be act this way so tell me the truth who were you with last night because so i'll literally you, what do you do to like obviously your psychology and all that how do you understand someone is there uh, questions you ask them is yeah. there it's so simple Go on, hit you me. ask about their childhood ask me how is your uh, your mum and dad together no when did they part when i was like one did you keep in touch with both yeah and are you close to both families yeah and now as a result did your parents remarry well, separately yeah yeah and they're both not with their partners anymore okay they're both now single as yeah. well do you have siblings from yeah okay uh how often would you see your dad every day Oh really? Yeah. So you pretty much okay. So did you go down the route of becoming super independent or super clingy with girls? Bit of both. What it depends what the girls like. Uh, sometimes <laughs> I get like I just get whipped on it. But yeah. Sometimes I'm just like stay away from it. Do you sometimes get whipped and then start pulling away? How do you normally behave? I pull away when it gets too serious. That's it. Okay. So then you you went down the avoidant route. Yeah. What that means is you you love, you want to be in love, you love women, you love women, you want to be with somebody for sure, yeah. but uh, you're very emotionally guarded in the process because you've lost trust. Do you know what it is? I don't like showing my vulnerable side because yeah. nowadays women don't accept that they take advantage of it. But even if it wasn't for nowadays, you your trauma would have done that to you. When you see parents separate, you realise love isn't forever. I didn't see it though. I was only like one. What's going on guys? If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you scroll down. We're now live on Spotify so you can watch us while you're driving, listen to us, listen to us while you're in the gym. Pretty much just listen to us anywhere. And make sure you give us a five star review on Spotify. Thank you. You still experienced it. Yeah, but I've never, do you know, I'll be honest with you. My mum and dad have always been best friends mm, that's after nice. the breakup. So I've never actually experienced that. Big argument with the family, the breakup, the I hate hair. Did it, like, I've never really been involved in that shit. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm quite happy with my upbringing. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. I didn't have the best upbringing. Mm -hmm. but what was hard about it? Everything, like life in general. Okay. Like, Did you grow up in North London? Yeah. How yeah. do you know? Because you're Turkish and Greek. Yeah. <laughs> you only go to one area <laughs> yeah, in London. One area. <laughs> yeah. So... What does that mean about me? What does it say about me as what a person? What it suggests is that you're going to always be, you're always going to love women. You're always going to want to be with women, but oh, you're not going to be emotional. That will never change, no Yeah, but you won't necessarily be the most emotionally available partner. So what that would look like is you'll love them, you want to be around them, but you seek separation in your own time as well. And what you might do if the girl gets too clingy is create separation and distance by maybe talking to other women, by taking a holiday, by living in a separate room or whatever no, it is. I don't do that. I'm very faithful. Oh, okay. I'm <laughs> Serious. I'm, fa I'm clean, faithful. Never Describe faithful. Life. I believe cheating can even be down to having the fault of wanting to be. With and you've else. never cheated. What had the fault? I've had that loads of faults. <laughs> but I mean, in the sense that if my girl, if I'm in a relationship and I'm actually with her, loyal and everything, and she, so people ask me, what do you define as cheating? Mm -hmm. Like my boys, when we've had chats, like I have these kind of chats with all my boys all the time. Yeah. And I think cheating is. It can be even down to looking at a boy's Instagram picture and having the intention to, oh, if me and Mikey break up, I'm going to message this guy. Right. That is cheating in my eyes. Right. Do you agree so or how disagree? Do you, how do you monitor that? I don't. I just believe everyone's a cheat. 
And then how do you navigate relationships as a result of that's that? That's my issue. I don't because the second I get 1% of that, even if I see her like a guy's picture or follow a guy, I automatically say, okay, leave her. Halas. Well, then th- what that means is you enter relationships uh, almost like a, in a race of who can leave who first. Yeah, I always leave first. Well, so I'm always winning. So it's not winning because you always end up back on the market. Yeah, but then I'm, in my eyes, I'm going to find the right girl. Who's no, it not doesn't work like that. It's not the right girl, it's the right mentality. Yeah, but I think I need to find a girl with the right mentality. And when I find her, then all my issues will it just... It has to be you. Because here's the thing, when you have the right mentality, your vetting process is so much better. You select women better. But when you have a mentality, everyone's going to cheat. You're going to see that girl who's got those cheating red flags and give her a chance. Because you're like, everyone cheats anyway, so it doesn't matter if she's posting a lot on Instagram. It doesn't matter if she's doing that because everyone cheats anyway. But when she does, I'm going to leave her. But Thank if you, you start having this mentality where... I, I'm i only going to be with a good woman who doesn't cheat on me. The moment you see a red flag, you don't entertain it. But when you have a mentality, yeah, everyone cheats, everyone cheats, you, you end up selecting cheaters. Do you know what it is, it is though? Even being on Instagram, yeah, when I'm scrolling for it, it's full of temptation. Mm. Like, no matter what. You can even try and unfollow everyone. You go on the For You page and it's just full of them. Like, you so, can't... So then how do you navigate... Do you end up messaging girls? How do you go through Do that? I message girls? Yeah, of course. And do they reply? Because you've got like I've a... I've got 100%... Following. Uh, 100% reply ratio. Have you? Yeah. So then how do you remain faithful? I or do you just not get... Okay. I just don't message <laughs> them when true. I'm with someone. I just avoid it at all costs. So how are we going to fix this problem? It's like, no problem. I'm, I'm sweet as. You don't mind? Do you want to get married? Yeah, one day. This year, hopefully. Inshallah, Inshallah. With kids and everything? Of course. Yeah, but you're not going to pick right. I have to pick for you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to pick right. Go I, I promise you, I can guarantee you the girls that you entertain are nonsense. Some are. I openly know it, but I'm entertaining them for different reasons. But like some women I don't want a relationship with. I just want to take out and get to know or mm. go out with them. But other women, I do have the intention to, okay, you may be potential wifey, but that takes a while for me to work out. But here's the thing. When you start dropping your standards and having this two kind of uh, options, one that is wifey, one that is just short term, you blur the lines. When a woman is sleeping around with maybe guys that are in and out of prison or like treating her badly, hitting and stuff, when she just meets a guy who's still a bit shit but he's better than that, she thinks he's husband material. Yeah. So it lowers your standards. But I think that comes down back down to childhood again with women. If they like that certain type of man, that goes back to your childhood and what mm. you've experienced in life and what you think is right. Because mm-hmm. some women believe that that is normal. That's how it should be because that's what they've witnessed between mums and dads. Yeah. And it's wrong. It's disgusting. I don't agree with yeah, it. Yeah, but they but that's, think it's that's, normal. That's, that's, so that's based on is. your child, what is your type in women? My type? Yeah. Maybe not looks-wise, but how, in terms of like well, how you feel about them, what is the type? Independent. independent. has to be independent because I don't want her to... Be clingy wanna, with you. Yeah. yeah. Independent. Must be a jealous girl. She independent but jealous. jealous she has to be jealous because if she didn't <laughs> needy uh, she has to constantly bash my phone off otherwise I look elsewhere yeah um, so but I think it like comes down to I want a girl who I can't get right I tell girls just say no to me mm. just say no for as long as you can and I'll be here for long do you know why men like women that they can't get no no women like men they can't get as well it's more Both. men it's more men that like that because it's we're dogs we want, you, you we like the out. chase but also it comes when you've had a childhood where you didn't receive the love in the way that you wanted it you had to earn it a little bit so when you have to work for love you think when a woman doesn't want you that much and she treats you badly working for her makes you want her more but that woman doesn't want you back and she won't be consistent when a girl ignores me I want her more Genuinely. but here's the thing women don't ignore men they like so it if she's ignoring you it's a signal no, she's not that into you Trust me, we don't ignore the men we are crazy about. But you say that, but it depends because when you're pissed off with him, you want him to know you're pissed off. Oh yeah, maybe when you're pissed off and you're ready to establish just get a relationship. For the fun of it. <laughs> no, but those guys where they're like, oh, she's kind of still into her ex, or oh, she's still no, not, no, she's not giving, dumb. and they're still ge- 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 trying to work on her. She don't want you, and if she does want you, you're a last resort. If that happens, if you have to Mate, work if towards you it, in any of them kind of situations, yeah, run. just lock it off. Yeah. So, do you believe that you can a man be can be friends with an ex? I think even if you can, let's say it's all gone and so on and so forth, unless you're co-parents, there's no need to. But, so I was in a relationship yeah. where my ex was friends, good friends with her ex-partner. Mm-hmm. And she said it was because she felt sorry for him and she wanted to just be there for him. Right. And I said, so that means you still care about him, right? She was like, yeah, of course I care about him. I was like, well, I don't want to be with you. Yeah. Why would I want to be with someone who cares for an ex-partner that they... <laughs> 
have slept with, yeah. they've loved. I don't want it. And then how did she respond to that? She he blocked him. And then? We kept it moving. But here's what I would say. It's more about, yes, she can listen to you. But when with women, you have to look at their pre-existing morals. If you tell a girl to do something and then she listens, fair enough. Yeah, but it's better to choose one who's self-regulated. And with men. I agree with that as well. Yeah, it's better to just choose self-regulated. I know men who are like, oh, the girl I'm going to marry, she deleted her OnlyFans. It's like, well... She had OnlyFans. She had OnlyFans. And, um, or they'll say something like that along those lines. It's better to just choose one self-regulated. Don't feel like you can change her. See who she is before you because it's her dad's job to raise her. If he did a good job, you're chilling. If he did a terrible job, you're screwed. And if... If before she met you, she's moving a bit mad, but you think you can fix her, her upbringing will always catch up on her and on you. So just let it be. Be with somebody who's, whose dad do- has done a good job, not you. So what do you think about all this red pill movement? It's just nonsense in my head. What's your opinion on it? Because no. obviously loads of your videos of Andrew Tate have gone viral. Uh. And you claim to not like what Andrew Tate was about, but... I watched an episode where you were sat in this exact room. Oh, yeah, it was right here. Was, and I was, was so you super sat, excited. Sat, <laughs> and table walks in and and I'm like, hi. And your exact <laughs> words, I'm going to put the clip here. Your oh, exact stop. words was, oh my God, I'm so I'm overly excited. I'm overly excited. I would say that to him. Even when I when I speak to him now, but I'll when, say that. <gasps> so let's I'm have really your opinions on this man. <laughs> <laughs> How Andrew are you? Uh, Andrew Lovelock. Hey, hey, hey. Nice uh, to meet you. Hi. Sorry, I got over excited, didn't I? I you, you caught me all excited. How so are you? I, we watched back your previous like content. Yeah. We think, oh, I must hate him. Well, here's the thing. I don't actually hate Andrew Tate. I used to hate his followers a lot. Andrew Tate, I didn't mind so much at, at first. At first, I didn't like some of the things. And then I realized he actually makes a lot of sense if you give it more time and energy and to actually listen to it and then I hated 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 his followers and I still do hate his followers but that's his followers that's not him he's not done that he's but here's the thing your followers are a representation of your message they really are but maybe they hate maybe they give you the grief you get because of how you acted in the first place because you was anti-tate you know, no, but I, I was anti-feminism. I was anti-red pill. I was anti both of them because they're both not constructive to relationships. I hate feminism, I and I hate says. you agree with everything. everything. I don't agree with everything. I agree with word for word what he says in long form. Format. Okay. When it's just cut up and stuff. So, what are some of his controversial views that you agree with, and girls kind of get everything. annoyed? Can you give me an example of things that girls get annoyed with that you agree with that Andrew says? <laughs> Oh, I, I, I actually asked him this question the other day. I can't remember what it was. Hi, guys. Don't forget to join my Patreon, where not only will you get exclusive information and videos every single week, but not only that, you can ask me a question anytime, and there's no limit to how many questions you can ask. So just subscribe. Just click the link below.